Hey guys, Divine Railer here, and I'm back once again playing Knights of the Old Republic. Light side. So, uh, we're just about to go to Korriban. Uh, Korriban. Yeah, Korriban. Oh, jeez. What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Oh, shit. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras vessel. I own it. Damn. So this should be the ship that Malak's on. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith Damn. Bombardment. Don't do anything you'll regret, Karth. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but... If I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. We count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carruth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. Mm. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Don't worry. Admiral Carif will be watching the three of us very closely. One of the others is going to have to save us. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. I'm gonna have tea for you do it. Well, the droid's right. If we disable him, the Sith will probably wipe his memory chips and take him to the junk pile. But if we can rig a backup memory chip with a timer, when it kicks in, the little fellow will be reactivated and he can come find us. I'm afraid the Sith will melt him down before his backup chip kicks. Let's do Hold it. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. I've never done this section as T3 before, I think. I usually go with uh, Jahani. Bastler, I'm gonna get a bit more coffee. Taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karen warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a disabled astromech droid in the back of the ship. Wipe its memory chips and take it to the junk pile. Maybe we can use some of its parts for salvage. Karth. It has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night because I promised myself I would kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a 
cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, so, and for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're wasting your time, so I'll never betray the Jedi. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? Oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. My loyalty is as true as Bastilus. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. Don't hurt her. I beg you. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy in which you were trained? Uh -huh. That's a funny little reference, because uh, in A New Hope, when uh, Leia was being interrogated about where the rebel base was, and they were threatening to destroy Alderaan, she was like, ah, oh, they're on Dantooine. <laughs> but now when it's actually Dantooine, I can lie and say it's Alderaan. <laughs> Jedi Academy? I have no idea what you're talking about. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. <coughs> Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by a half fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. I'm showing up as a bit of purple on there. Probably because of the light uh, reflecting off the curtains. Uh, no, you're lying. It isn't true. It doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The fact remains that the Jedi on Dantooine have been eradicated, along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? I won't betray the Jedi. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. No. Uh, no. Uh, uh, pain. Pain. Ah! Listen, can you not hear her suffering? You can spare her further pain by simply answering my question. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Her second woman. So Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! <laughs> no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! I am surprised she did not pass 
sometime sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques and considered merciful one, the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saw one of them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Carth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Ruinous without hope of redemption, Bastl. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Oh. believe that Snow was lying to us. Even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger. Mm -hmm. Casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Endar, Zar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before mm. Saul gets back. We're so careful. Well, Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know. Just to make the horrible pain stop. I'm sorry, Vassal, I'm watching you so tore me apart. I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. To watch you suffer like that, it might have been too much for me to bear. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope T3M4 busts us out of here before he arrives. Mm. I place all of my bets on my droid. You sense you have a droid attempting to access your higher memory areas. You will need to take key opportunities to interfere with the process and slice the enemy droid in turn. A stream of numbers is being loaded into your core memory systems. By completing the series, you can corrupt the data stream and disrupt the other droid's programming. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, 34-21-13-85. Um, what's happening? So, I think I see what's going on here. In reverse order. Oh, in the order they're going in. They get minus by the next one in the sequence. Or by the one two sequences ahead to make the one in the next sequence. So to get from eight to five, it'd be free. I got it right. I got it right. 
Wouldn't it? Because the only one that hasn't been used so far is one zero, right? It goes zero zero one one zero one zero. It goes zero zero one one zero one one zero. The other droid's communication programming continues to collapse. Sweet. Starting one more data stream by completing the series should wipe out all communication processing systems and force the enemy droid into permanent shutdown. Two, three. Okay, I think I see. If it adds one on that one, then it's it's basically adding the previous one in sequence. I'm guessing. I think either that or it's increasing how much it adds to the previous one by to make the next one, because it goes from two to three, which is adding one, and then that one's. 2 plus 3 equals 5, then it's 5 plus 3. No! Huh. It doesn't increase on that one. That's odd. So it goes 2 to 3, and then 3 plus 2 equals 5, and then 2 plus 5 equals 7. Hmm. What would be the next one then? Would it be nine? Hmm. So two, three, five, seven. I know what these are. They're prime numbers. That's the thing. They're prime numbers. It's not a sequence. It's a well, it is a sequence. It's a sequence of prime numbers. So the next prime number would be eleven, right? Yes. <laughs> My maths knowledge, <laughs> actually. Uh, came in handy here. Didn't last time. Um, some some construction kits, flame pro, medium droid plating. Don't I have like heavy plating though? No, I have light plating type two. Get that medium plating on. Uh, I already have a flame pro, but that one has better amount of uses. Um, droid motion sensor is type 2. Um, get that other stun ray. I think that's all the upgrades I can really do to myself. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh. So I can basically reactivate the droid. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. Um, droid upgrades. Advanced flame flamethrower. <laughs> oh. Oh, but he doesn't have. He 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 doesn't. He only has droid up class. That's the logic upgrades. Upgrade class two. I don't know when he gets the third one. It should be soon, I hope. So I can actually put on some of the medium plating. Uh, can I? No! I can't get the advanced flame pro. I can get the advanced stun ray. Son of a bitch. Ah, there's a technician. I have no grenades, do I? No. Oh, 
hopefully I can get T free to level up in this section. Ah, medicinal supplies. Even more medicinal supplies. That's the detention area. I'm going to wait before going there. I think. Right? I think that's the right thing to do. Let's I hope. So I want to search the whole map. He is T posing like a champ. Level up. Yes! Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm still technically in combat. Uh, nope, I'm still technically in combat. Mime shooting people. Did he seriously just mime shooting people? <sighs> There's a storage container on the other side. Um, medium plating. Advanced flamethrower. <laughs> um, ooh, droid motion sensors type three. Uh, actually, that has more uses. Um, uh, I think that's everything I can equip. So it's the computer. It has security cameras, barracks. Can't do anything to the barracks ones. Cell block. Let me sell force fields. <laughs> uh, return to loot camera, detention area. Uh, return to loot camera. SS system commands. Upload area schematics. No. Do. <laughs> um. Yeah. So now I've got the whole map. Uh, so this. So that tension area over there is where I need to get to. I'm guessing. And there's barracks in the cell block over here. <laughs> oh damn, I'm not even here, man. Burn. Burn!
<sighs> well, now I'm going to check what's over here. I don't think there's much over here. It's just a bunch of cells and I just let every prisoner out. And then they died. Um, <laughs> so now to the detention area. I'm probably going to end this video as soon as I start playing as my own character again. You know, as soon as T3 rescues me, Vassal and Karth. Which should be around about now. Eh, I've got more time. You may be a droid, but when this is all over, I'm going to see the Republic gives you a medal for your part in this. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship. Our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. Mm. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gate to the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching. Oh, <laughs> Kenneris just ran out. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. We need some type of plan. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. I'm coming too. It's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. Good. Get to the equipment room, grab what you need, and get going. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. We still have a, to get our equipment. Let's go. I instantly re-equip. Where's my re-equip? <laughs> yeah, I've checked everything now. Should have all my stuff back. Oh yeah, I have Kalo Nords up. Battle armor. I'm going to need that. I think that's my one. Yeah, that, that should be my one. Uh, oh, damn, I barely gave you anything, cough. That's because I barely had you in my party. That's your blaster. Uh, do we have another heavy Mandalorian blaster? Pistol. We have a assassin's pistol. Uh, ooh, that one looks nice. I'll let you have that. if we're going to uh, be going to that bridge trust me sure ready
Hey, now he's got two. I'm just gonna put a lot of them in to treat injury. Ah, now he can go two weapon fighting. Oh wait, no, I said I was gonna put a lot of them in to treat injury. Now he's at max for it. response package make him even dexterity or ER. might start going for the implants for my character as well I'm not sure what other avenues of well my feet system I have but I haven't really been on that for a while I don't think anyway let's go actually that's the end of the video <laughs> Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, if you did leave a like, comment if you have anything to comment, subscribe, click that bell to stay updated with notifications, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!